What's up, water signs? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpios. This is your weekly reading. I am a few days late because the holiday, it's been a hectic week. It's always a hectic week. If you're interested in a reading, personal reading, that's linked in the description. Let's just jump into it. Let's see what we got for all the water signs. Woof, first card out. This is the death card. Okay. So, with this death card here, I'm really getting transformation. I'm not necessarily getting anything bad ending. There's shit on my microphone. What I'm, what I'm more so getting is um, getting yourself out of the rut you may have found yourself in. The personal rut. Some of you guys might have been feeling sorry for yourselves lately or just kind of wallowing in self-pity. And you're starting to come out of that and see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, you're still a little bit blocked creatively, though, I feel, with this Page of Cups in reverse. There could also just be things that you're not expressing fully yet. Um... It's kind of like coming out of the coming out of the weeds, not fully there yet. Transformation is the word that comes to mind, but also it's emotional transformation. It's transformation of the way that you're thinking about specific situations that are going on in your life. It's seeing things from a different lens and perspective that's what i'm getting from these cards in a good way it's also with this page of cups learning to fill your cup up right when the page of cups is upright and i don't ever read the page of cups like this in reverse but when it's upright it's like having this fun expressive energy where you're looking at the world in wonder uh, with new eyes when it's in reverse in this setting right now in this particular reading I'm seeing it as like kind of looking at yourself with wonder it's not necessarily like you've, you're lacking that wonder it's like you're finally able to see yourself your emotions with this sense of like wonderment this is very big energy Nine of Cups in reverse, Six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. I feel like there's a lot of talking to ourselves, water signs. A lot of like needing to really sit with the emotions that are coming through and why we may be feeling the way that we're feeling. If we're feeling sad about something, if we're feeling overwhelmed, if we're feeling like We don't know how to express ourselves in a, in a certain situation. I think it's time for us to really get real about what it is we're feeling. Um, and part of that stems from being okay with the feelings, being okay with giving back to ourselves. The Six of Pentacles always gives me a lack of reciprocity. Um, or being overly generous with our energy, our resources, right? Could potentially even be just spending too much money. So some of you, you water signs out there are um, spending shit that you don't have, whether it's energy or money that you don't have in order to kind of mask what you may be feeling. Um, and hey, hi, uh, she is me and I am her. When I'm feeling really shitty, and I'm a cancer, water sign, when I'm feeling really shitty, I tend to like overspend, even when I don't have it, because it's like a self, it's almost like a self sabotage. So you could be, again, it doesn't have to be monetary, it could just be your energy, expending your energy too much, where you're almost like purposely doing it for this, for the sake of 
sabotaging yourself. Yeah, as I say that, the Eight of Swords is at the bottom of the deck, which is this imposter syndrome and self-sabotage and keeping ourselves stuck in a situation. So this could be heavily our money attached to our resource. I mean, our resources and money attached to our emotions, right? And especially with the water signs, we're the most emotional signs in the zodiac. What we feel has a direct effect on what we do and what we do has a direct effect on how much we make if we're making if we're spending if we're using we're because we're such emotional beings it's all interconnected it's always all inter interconnected but when it comes to the water signs it's even more so the ace of swords is telling me that you guys could be a little bit distractible lately or um i don't want to say distractible it's not necessarily that you guys could be in your head that's that's what i get from that very in our heads um i'm not getting necessarily like mental burnout but i'm getting overthinking um to the point where you might not be able to be you might not be able to like take action on something or you might not even have um, the ability to, let's say, it's like, it's like blocking you creatively because it's not analysis paralysis. What am I feeling? It's like having an idea but not being able to hold on to that idea. Because the minute you come up with one idea, a new idea comes and then the minute you even try to entertain that idea a new idea comes so it's like it's like these fleeting ideas i don't know wh why that's coming through so strongly um the good news is with this death card is that it's not gonna last i'm seeing an end to this sort of energy god let's Every single card except for this death card is in reverse. I just noticed that. A lot of blockages. A lot of clarity as well, though, because the Five of Cups is a card you want to see in reverse. This is 100% a card you want to see in, in reverse. You want to get clarity on your emotions. You want to spill into yourself. <laughs> King of Swords in reverse could be somebody in your energy again that you might be at the precipice of cutting ties with especially with this card coming out over the death card the king of swords in reverse is a dictator it's somebody who likes control just for the sake of control right this is somebody in your energy that you again you may be getting this clarity this kind of um aha moment even Hanged man. And the lovers in reverse. Lovers in reverse is about choices, right? And I feel as if... I feel as if you keep choosing situations or a situation or a relationship. King of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck um that is making you feel st stuck maybe maybe this is a boss like maybe you have to partake in this relationship and you and this person are not seeing eye to eye there's a lot of emotions attached to this so i, I don't feel like this is a boss this could be a family member somebody that you're romantically involved with like make it make sense I just feel like you're expending a lot of emotional energy on this. To the point where you're unable to get ahead for yourself. And I think we're needing to kind of reel it back in. The hanged man is all about surrender. It's all about allowing things to take shape the way that they're going to. And realizing that certain things we don't always have control over, right? Um, at least that's how I read The Hanged Man. It, it's like accepting the fate of the situation. Accepting that the inevitable, which is death, 
will happen. Again, though, it's that self-sacrificing energy as well, where you're ending up the martyr when you don't really fucking need to be. If you just learned to see things from the different perspective and like take your power back and maybe draw boundaries or maybe just take action on the thing that you're wanting as opposed to focusing on everybody else, you might just end up getting what you want. Very self-love energy. I mean, I, I like to always read the cards from that, um, that standpoint, that, that perspective. Um, let's see. what oracle cards we have. Being happy doesn't mean everything is perfect. It means you've decided to look beyond the imperfections. Again, that's where that surrender card comes through. You probably can't see that, but it's all right. I promise that's what it says. So this is, this is really assessing your happiness, people in your life that I would guess probably don't make you happy, make you feel like you're obligated to do things. Um, yeah, it's, it's coming to this, this, this perspective that your happiness doesn't mean, I feel like it's more you don't need to be perfect. Understanding that maybe sometimes water signs, you're a little too hard on yourself and you got to give yourself a little bit of the grace that you give everybody else and realize that like being good at something, being happy, being successful, whatever it is, doesn't always mean that you're perfect. It just means that you're pushing beyond that and you're learning to let go, surrender to the imperfections in a situation. <laughs> as i cut the deck it's death in reverse some of you guys might be approaching this inevitable ending or change and resisting it i mean the death is all about change the devil in reverse it is time to get out of your own way or let the people that are in your way get out of your way. And I've got news for you, water signs. If you don't get out of your own way, the universe will get these obstacles out of your way for you in a very big way, in a way where you're not going to be able to avoid certain situations or avoid certain emotions or avoid endings. The endings are just going to happen. Um, that's all I got. Very quick. Pretty much to the point. Um, I'm sorry I'm late, but I promise you can expect a reading a week. I'm dedicated to this. I love y'all. I will see you guys in the next reading. Peace out.